After four weeks of facing the toughest competition in the world, only G2 Esports and Fun Plus Phoenix remained in the League of Legends World Championship. Despite having the European fans behind them, G2 could not find a way to change the script. All worlds long, the theme has been Rise, Phoenix, Rise. And it's exactly what FPX did thanks in large part to Tian. For a second year in a row, it was a Europe vs China Grand Finals. And this time around, the top team from the LEC were viewed as favorites. But as soon as Game 1 got started, it was evident that this would be no cakewalk. On Lee Sin, Tian was aggressive early. His passing was unpredictable, and in the opening game, top lane was his target. Do and be the first one to move. Now Wanda flash the sonic wave. It's a resonating strike. He's trying to escape. He's going down. Yankos arrives. It's too little. It's too late. Although he was aggressive, he showed an uncanny ability to be patient and seemed to know exactly what G2's map movements would be. Perks continues to step forward and he does. He's caught by the Dragon's Rage. The kick throws him under the tower. And LWX picks up the kill. It's not done yet. Sian goes for a cocoon from Yankos. May have just saved Mickey's life. Despite locking down the top side of the map, at 30 minutes, FPX found themselves in a slight gold deficit until Tian and his team found an opening at Dragon. The chain of corruption will start to spread, and it's Mickey that gets tagged. He's locked down, he's knocked up, he's dead! LWX is on a rampage. The Sivir is terrifying. There goes the teleport, the teleport, oh! the king, Tian, you beauty! Although G2 made them work for it, FPX found the necessary picks to eventually go up 1-0 in the series. From there on out, FPX appeared to be in full control. Game 2 was all about that, as Tian mimicked Yankos in the early game to prevent any dives from taking place. That allowed for FPX to contest G2's 7-minute Dragon attempt. Uh oh That's a flash forward into the taunt. Dragon secured by G2, but the first fight is on the board. First blood again to FPX. Now Tian is going so, so low. Yankos repels up, comes down, gets killed. It's a jungler for jungler trade, and now Perks is blown up. Three for one, but the Dragon goes to G2. As G2 began to force aggression, FPX had all the answers, and Tian's Lee Sin constantly kicked enemy champions to their death. After a break in gameplay, the game turned into a bloodbath that fell the way of Fun Plus Phoenix. In Game 3, Tian once again got his hands on Lee Sin and he used it to make Perks' life miserable. It didn't net any kills, but Tian's aggression gave FPX full control of the Rift and an early gold lead thanks to a couple of turret kills. After sneaking a Baron away from G2, FPX just needed a single opening to break open the base. And once again, it was Tian's patience that came up huge. FPX trying to collapse here now. G2, will they get him? All right, now look at the minimap at one. Miss. Cost. Do it, B! Gets the kill onto Caps! And the teleports now come in. This could be it for G2. LWX goes forward. He won't find the kill into Yankos, but there is a potential reply. Oh! Time doesn't do anything. Perks stays alive. It's a fight on multiple fronts. Now Perks is in trouble. He's got no flash. He's got low mana, and he can't find anything. TM takes him down. With G2's base in shambles, FPX needed just one more team fight victory to become world champion. Tian goes down, Perks kills Gimgun, the Nexus is being focused, it's going down, and Fun Plus Phoenix are your world champions! Fun Plus Phoenix flipped aside G2 3 0 to give the LPL back to back world championships. Tian was the star of the show as the 18 year old jungler was named MVP of the finals thanks to three stellar games on Lee Sin. With Worlds 2020 heading to Shanghai, expect Tian and FPX to be right back in contention next year.